are today, mid-April, looking at garlic mustard, another of the exotic species that we're trying to remove and manage in most of our natural or open space areas. It was a wild herb brought here by early pioneers as a substitute for garlic. Its leaves, when bruised, emit an aroma of garlic. But each plant, it's a mustard. We can see they have four petals on the flowers. It lets us know it's in the mustard family. It has these heart-shaped scalloped leaves. And it's a biennial. So it came up last year as a single leaf seedling and formed a winter rosette. The winter rosettes, now that we're in April, are starting to bolt and flower. pulling it or cutting it and then bagging the material up. This plant is so resilient that if we put this and just plucked it and left it on the ground, it will still produce its seeds. This one plant here will produce over 1,600 seeds if we let this go. We're currently seeing most of our spring ephemerals being outplaced by garlic mustard in our forest today. When we're managing our forest, sometimes we use controlled fire, where the oak leaf litter is enough fuel to have a fire roll through here. It's a very small fire. But this being a biennial, fire will take out at least one whole cycle or one year cycle of that plant. So fire alone can take out all of the rosettes and then none of the plants will bloom that year. If we can roll two fires over two year period, I can reduce garlic mustard by 95% over the forest without having to pick it or spray anything. We normally follow up after the second fire and then we pick and spray and, and really knock it out of the park at that point. <laughs> 